Okay, to every future warrior out there, whether you are in the midst of a storm, you want to learn how to navigate a storm, you have already come out of a storm, and you're looking for different tools to try to help ground yourself, connect with yourself, or expand in some kind of way, whether it be physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. Irene and I are here to help and support your journey. I think we have very complementary skills. So it's not a matter of work with one versus the other. It's tap into what you need and what you what resonates with you the most. And then we can kind of move forward. So I know that Irene does a lot of one on one work and she also does a lot of corporate work. A lot of her specialties are helping people kind of slow down and get back into that present moment. There is profound power in the pause. And so Irene being you know, a, a therapist, a facilitator, a coach, having all this different background, being a survivor, being a warrior herself, this is a very good space for her to come from that mix of both experience and academics. So if that sounds like something that might resonate with you guys from either an individual or a corporate perspective, definitely contact Irene because that's gonna be very much value add for you guys. Yes. And you, Jessica, you are the yang to my yin. Uh, I see you, yeah, like you are, yeah, kind of the big energy that uh, I think like you are, um, yeah, you get results for people, you know, like especially like in the high achieving uh, professional, high achieving mode that um, yeah, you get people there with your <clears throat> resilience and self mastery and uh, the mindset of a warrior. And yeah. You work a lot with movement, with uh, physical fitness and, uh, and nutrition. So I think like that's also, you know, like kind of the important things as well to support the journey. And um, I don't think that people should always talk about it because I think when you talk about things, sometimes it re-traumatizes you. So, yeah. and that's only because of my personal journey. So for people that haven't talked about it or don't want to talk about it, but still want to get across that finish line and and shift from operating from here to here. That's what I can help with. Now, so if you are eager, like uh, in that uh, high achieving mode and you want to get results, um, you might encounter that uh, there's still something blocking you. you know, and uh, that's also my experience in the past and also uh, the work that I do with my client. Because um, these things that block sometimes have a you know have an origin of our past experience or trauma let's just call it what it is uh, and that's what i help people with to unblock so that um, yeah they they're not uh, in the survival mode all the time because like okay they they learn to regulate also their their stress response and they they learn to to create space so that uh, they can have this uh, self reflection um, yeah towards towards a more balanced brighter future uh, they want to create and uh, yeah I work a lot with the body it is um, yeah it is also key like for you know working with the releasing trauma because they're all like stored in our body not only in our mind or our emotion um, yeah and that's what I um, what I help uh, also people like you know it doesn't matter where you are you can be like in in different levels in your career or you're just starting up um yeah we are all like kind of dealing with something especially like this this last uh, crazy uh, year and uh, how can we recover from it and kind of really rebuild ourselves mm -hmm. from within yeah and so yeah i think that there, there's another you know very powerful nuance is i think the work that Irene does for embodiment exercises comes from a place of being very grounded, very present, and very aware of both your internal and your external world. For the movement that I do, I don't do formal therapy, creative embodiment work. I, I don't, that's not my skill set. For me, I do more high intensity workouts. And the high intensity workouts is another way to hijack your system to get you out of, you know, for the stress relief as an oversimplification. 
And then once you get out of that stressful situation, then you're able to have that mental clarity and then you can move forward. So yeah. for a lot of high achievers, it's different. It, it, it's, not, it's not to say that one is better than the other, but it's different applications. So if you are that feeling person that is willing to do and able to do that deep dive, 100%, you know, it's uncomfortable, but it's useful. <laughs> Irene is the person to go to for all of that. For the people that are a little bit more analytical, sometimes like when you're doing like those deep dives, it can actually put you in a, paraly a place of paralysis. So you have to understand what you need in that moment. So like, for example, what does that mean? When I was dealing with the heavy years of all of my trauma, I was unable to talk about it. There's no way. My ego was so strong and I was not able to break through that ego to see what was actually happening for what it was. My survival mode and my way to process it for better part of eight years was to just continue to throw myself into physical activities, which allowed me to be functional, but it also allowed me to be an achiever in so many different levels. The part that I compromised on is interpersonal relationships. So for me, everything's a compromise, right? Everything's a balance. I gave up the ability to build meaningful relationships during a lot of those years, specifically because I was not safe in my family situation. Therefore, I only kept people in my external world at, at arm's reach. So the embodiment work that Irene does, I think is super powerful because you can learn from my mistakes and build <laughs> those interpersonal relationships as well. Uh, but again, it just, it depends on where you are. Yeah, yeah, yes. So it is really, you know, like a coming back to the first point, like really it's about like a checking in what you need right now, you know, because also like uh, when you're analytical or more like uh, in touch with your emotion or your body, um, what we need also may evolve mm -hmm. throughout our lifetime, throughout our journey, uh, depending what, yeah, also what, what we what we face uh, uh, at the moment. And um, yeah, kind of to, to create that um, integration that, uh, you know, that because it is, in the end, like I think what, what makes us uh, come out of this survival response is really to gently, yeah, releasing, but also gently integrating the, the fragmented part mm -hmm. of ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, including the emotion, the memory, the, um, yeah, the thoughts, uh, also the, the embodied experience. And yeah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be re-traumatizing. That's what I want to stress. Like uh, we can work on it like in a safe, creative way, uh, embodied way, yeah. non-verbal way, you know, that uh, it's not all up here. Like, you know, when we are talking, that's kind of here, uh, but also kind of to be like in the experience that, all right, that uh, when once we learn to regulate uh, this response that, hey, that's, in itself, it's an empowering experience. Like, hey, I can, you know, I can face it. And you know, it was actually not that bad. You know, I, I have the resource to go through it. And wow, that's, um, yeah, that's kind of this breakthrough. You know, there, there are breakthroughs. <laughs> there are also the mini breakthroughs yeah. all the way towards that. And you know, that's, uh, yeah, that's what I'm inviting um, people absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. and the the journey of self actualization or journey back to self or the journey you know for alignment however you want to frame it is extremely personal and yeah. so it, it's what you need for me i work with people on one-off sessions with a home breakthrough session we have uh three week sessions which are like junior warrior and then i have an eight-week transformational uh journey and during the eight week transformational journey, it's daily check ins and then weekly coaching calls. And that's for people that feel, you know, there's something that's missing, but I'm not really sure what. It's a lot of people that are white knuckling, but want to get into flow. It's a lot of people that are just really stressed out and they're just like, I can't breathe. Like, I'm, just, I'm sick of it, but I don't know what to do. And these are the people that I work with because it's just like, all right, <laughs> let's get back to basics. And so hopefully that, that helps. But again, Irene, like you're an incredible person. You're one of the few therapists, because I've seen therapists for 10 years. You're one of the few therapists that comes from both an experience perspective and also an academic perspective, which I think is extremely powerful. 
your the chest of tools that you have in order to teach people how to get in touch with themselves, I think is super useful, super powerful and super important. Uh, and then I also think that anybody who has the absolute pleasure to work with you is just they're lucky. <laughs> I can say the same to you, Jess. <laughs> I think like, yeah, seriously, like, uh, yeah, you're um, again, like your, your energy. I think that's also kind of like something I see very special mm -hmm. um, and it's contagious. <laughs> it's like a game of energy management and that's what people don't, don't understand. So it's like, there's something to be said. I mean, you can go to therapy, you can go to, you know, coaches, you can do group work, you can do individual work. At the end of the day, if you don't know how to man, if you don't have self mastery, if you don't know how to manage your energy game over. Oh, yes. <laughs> but I thank you for that. 